Yo guys, what is going on? Wow, the voice is actually not that bad. And it's the morning time, so I think the voice is going to be good later today. Uh, very happy about that. Hopefully we don't have too many voice cracks. Um, it is your boy Nick from the Foot Market, I forgot to say that. Today we have a very good video. Um, this is a video that I wanted to make, and especially when I was streaming yesterday, I was like, yo, I gotta go make this video today. So, um, it's gonna be very important, like always, but I want to talk about a specific kind of card, and, you know, I'd like to do more videos talking about specific things on the market because I feel like we can really hit them uh, hit them clean and hit them well. Um, if you guys enjoy the video, just drop a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on these cards. Today, we're going to have two uploads, um, and the uploads are going to really pick up this week. I'm just warning you guys, today we're going to have this um, this upload, and then later, later today, we should have a Market Watch video because we have a lot of things to talk about, where the market is heading, what I would expect, and kind of going forward this year, what you can expect. Um, just so you guys know, as an update before we talk about things, I'm still stuck on high-rated golds. Um, I'm not really stuck. I bought all these cards at amazing, amazing prices. So it's hard for me to sell. It, it, it is really hard for me to sell right now. The market is really up. There's not that much to do trading-wise. Um, and we're still waiting for another icon set. So I'm not really in a rush. I know within, I guess, the next like five, six, seven days, we should get new icons. Um, and they should be good ones. So that's why I bought Silva's at like 35. It's just why I don't want to sell them. And I've been tweeting them out on Twitter that I've been getting a lot of lazy buyers. So I'm just kind of continuing to do that. So today's topic of the video it's going to be these UCL live cards. Um, I want to talk about these cards with you guys, and I think it's very important to talk about it. So Champions League is on today. Uh, Champions League was on yesterday. And I think it's important that we hone in on these cards. And we talk about these cards because, let, let's be honest, all of these cards are insanely, insanely high. I want to go and take you guys on the market for a sec and show you guys something very, very interesting that I was talking about on my stream yesterday. And it's this Juan Quad Quadrado card. Check this out, guys. So Essentially, if you're new to the scene of, of these kind of cards, if you don't know how these work, uh, essentially what happens is that these cards are getting boosted by a plus by an inform uh, an inform worthy plus one boost uh, or an inform worthy boost every single time that their team advances in the Champions League. So, say Juventus gets out of the group stage, Cuadrado is going to go to an 87 rated. Um, that's how these work. So, I think what's really interesting about these cards is like I look at it like this: like this Cuadrado right here is 75k, right? He's probably like 70. And then this one is 300 and, let's see, Flippin says 380. So, this is obviously so, so inflated. So, I want to talk about why is it that inflated. Well, people think that these upgrades are going to be massive. Now, this is a direct comparison to FIFA 17 ones to watch. If you guys were not around in FIFA 17, when EA originally brought out ones to watch, everybody went crazy. When the car was about to get upgraded, whether the car was playing bad or good, everybody had ones to watch it. So the hype on these were crazy because they were live items, and it was the first time anyone had ever seen them. Now in FIFA 19, they're only going up for good performances. They're only going up for potential team of the weeks because people know how they work. So I think that this is kind of this hidden thing that not many people know about, and it's kind of like a new ones to watch, and everybody wants to go get involved in it. That's like, that's like my best opinion on it. So I think that they're extremely inflated. Now, why I wanted to make this video today is sadly, I do think you guys can still make coins on these cards. Here's what I'm going to talk about. So the Champions League first round group stage, they have one more game left, I believe, one more round. And I believe it is, uh, I believe it is until December 12th. Um, I think December 12th is the, is the end of the next, is the end of the group stage. Let me check it out. Let me just confirm. Uh, December 12th is match day six. So that's going to be the end of the group stage. So the upgrades should come on December like 13th, December 12th. They should come on the Friday. So that's two weeks from now. Just so you guys know that is in two weeks from now. Um, and so that means that obviously there's more time for these guys to rise. So obviously a lot of people are invested. And the reason why I'm making this video is because Champions League was on yesterday and Champions League is on today. So you have Champions League on two days in a row. And that's why if you look at any graph on Flippin, like I know the market's going up right now, but that's not why these cards are so inflated. Look at how much they've jumped in the last like, let's say two days because Champions League was on. So what I will tell you is that I feel like a lot of people are buying into these cards right now. And I feel like in the next few days, they will start to get sold off because what you have to understand is Champions League takes two day breaks. Um, that's how it works. Like, like that. So not two day breaks, two week breaks, right? So geez. Um, so what's going to happen in my opinion is that these are just going to literally lose a little interest. What will happen in my opinion? And this is why I want to tell you guys that I do think you guys can make coins off these cards. So you have all these prices right now. Um, obviously extremely inflated. I mean, like just Quadrado is not only one. His, his UCL is like 300k more than his actual gold card, but Aguero is another one. Um, look at Aguero's price compared to his, his, his inform. Um, his inform is 545k 
and his, his UCL is what, 1.5? It's crazy. Like, a 91-rated Aguero, a team that's using Aguero right now in FIFA, I don't even think will be 1.5. Now, you can argue there's a lot of coins in this game. I understand all that. But let's be honest. These are, these are very inflated. So what I think will happen is that on the upgrade on December 12th, on the upgrade on December 13th, I think these are going to get flooded onto the market. Like, I think that this is going to be the same thing where if you see sometimes when a player gets into Team of the Week, so when it wants to watch, like last week when Mars got into Team of the Week, they just fly down in price because everybody starts listing and listing and listing and listing. So I think that is what is exactly going to happen with these cards. I think the second they get at the upgrade, every single investor in the world, because you have to understand, the people buying into these cards right now are the people that want these cards or are either wanting to, to invest for the upgrade. So it's the same concept of ones to watch. Now, talking about how you can make coins off this stupidity. I do believe, as I just said, and some of these have jumped up a ton. Like Paris is up like another 50K from yesterday. They're not going to hold this price. And even if they do, I'll tell you this. They're going to go higher. They're rare. Um, there's not a lot of supply. And, and people will like the idea of it. So I'm, I'm holding out today. There's a possibility. I do think we maybe get a UCL Live SBC. If there is one, I would invest. I would think that they're a good buy. Um, my main thing here, guys, is thinking that this weekend, maybe Sunday night, these get sold off a little bit, or maybe sometime next week when there's not Champions League on all next week. I think there's some big opportunity for you guys to invest. I do. Like, I know that, look, I would never pay 280 for Perisic, but I think that before the next Champions League window, there's another whole match day, they can all go up a little bit more. And I would look at the players that are going to advance. So, like, make sure you're looking at standings and things like that. Like, don't just go buy, I don't know. You know, I, don't just go buy a team that's going to get relegated. Like, I'm a Spurs fan. I think I think, I think, think that Spurs are going to probably go down to Europa League. Now, what is relevant about these, which I want to talk about really quick. Even if they do go down to Europa League, they're still going to get upgraded if they progress in Europa League. So that's something important to look at. I also think you have the element of car design. You have that kind of thing. Um, you have that kind of thing playing, playing, a, playing a role for you guys. What I would tell you as well is be careful if you guys do have any of these cards and you're holding them long term. Um, every single year, I will show you guys right now as we just looked on Flippin'. Uh, every single year on FIFA, EA releases a team of the group stage in the fall. They've done it like the last three or four years. As long as I can remember is what I'll tell you. Uh, they do it between 12 and 13. So again, like the first, you know, second week of December, a little bit of a pack seller. They make some extra coins. Just be careful because there's a possibility that there's a big possibility that some of these cards get into team of the group stage and they'll have two cards. And if that happens, I would assume that these, th this specific card would go down. Um, if you don't know how these work, again, I'm going to reiterate myself, they upgrade every time uh, their team advances. So it's kind of like one of those things, but I would expect these guys to get panic sold like crazy. Um, Nick, do you think they're going to put these guys back in packs? I don't. I think there's a shot that you guys saw the SBC from yesterday. I got to relist these. Um, you guys saw the SBC from yesterday. They brought out what two-player uh, Champions League upgrade packs. I don't know if they're going to supply these UCL live cards. The only way they would supply them is if they brought them out in SBCs. Um, that's literally the only possible way that these get supplied. If they come out in SBCs, that is the only possibility for me to tell you guys that they're going to get supplied. Otherwise, I don't think they're going to get supplied. I think they're pretty safe going. Um, there's some that are crazy. Like I was looking at some today just to talk to you guys because I know we're talking. Uh, Sterling like is about to get in Team of the Week today. He's going to get a Team of the Week card. I mean, he's going up so much, dude. Um, literally, he's going up so much. And I think people think that he's going to get upgraded. So watch out for this to drop down today. He also may be going up a little bit because Man City had a good performance yesterday. And it looks like Man City's going through. But yeah, dudes, when I when I saw the prices of these cards, they, they really shocked me. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you have one of these cards, like sell it in a week or two. I think they should be at maximum value in a week or two. If you do have these like in your team or something like that. Look, they've got a lot of good combinations going together. They've got a good dynamic image, sick card design. And people think they're just straight up live items. And they are. They, they don't act as live items. They upgrade as like upgrade items. They're like... I don't know if any of you guys played Madden over the years, but like there's like upgrade tokens. That's kind of how these cards work in my eyes. Um, so it's interesting to watch that unfold. Um, I still like hate the idea of investing in these, but if there's a few that I would touch, if there's a few that I really like, Florenzi is one of them. Uh, Florenzi is at like 250. I think Florenzi will be like 300 next week. So if we could get him like a 240 or something, I'm liking the idea of that. Sterling, I like a lot. I, I'm not crazy about Aguero or Griezmann. Like I don't know how much higher those can go. Fabinho, like, look, Fabinho's 450. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. I know he's 450. Like, I'm aware of that. I understand. I see the price, guys. I'm looking at the same price that you guys are looking at. But I still think that Fabinho, because of how meta he is, is going to probably touch 500. Um, now, these are prices that I would look for in two weeks from now. I would not buy into these now. But I wanted to make this video today to be informative so you guys can kind of start to see that, like, wow, these are, like, actually, like, 
There's a way to make coins on these. And I think if they drop down next week, like especially look, I think right now you have a market and we'll talk about this on market watch. You have a market that is so, so high right now that I just don't know like how much these are going to stay up the whole time. And that's like what I'm starting to look at. Like, I think that these could drop down a little bit. I think that these are in a lot of people's teams because a lot of people are playing with these guys, assuming they're going to get upgrades and upgrades and upgrades. And I think that that brings an added value. But you just have some insane prices right now. I mean, you know, Fakir is like 230, you know, and if you look at the difference between Fakir, uh, his what, his, uh, his, his base one, and then this, it's like, it's astronomical. His base one's like 50 and this one's like, 230 i would make sure that if you're if you if you're going to touch some of these in like a week or so and you're going to focus on some of these focus on the ones with good nationalities uh good links things like that so i would be targeting sterling i would target fabinho Perisic is a good one um who else do we have here kimpembe's well wow, kimpembe's actually decent but careful with kimpembe and i would see this guys here is what i would look at and this is like a little bit of a tip that i wanted to tell you guys on the video today um there's the possibility right like psg there's some teams in this team that may not 100 percent get uh, into the next round of Champions League, which means that they will get demoted to Europa League. But what I wanted to tell you, or relegated rather, what I wanted to tell you guys that's very important about that information, um, the the fact of the matter is that even though these guys are going to get potentially relegated and go down, they can still get upgrades in Europa League. So they're, I think their car design will change, but they will still get upgrades. And like a team like PSG, bro, if they go to Europa League, man, they're going to literally sauce that league. So Kimpembe will still probably be that 88, 89 rated card you want at the end of the year. So that's something I would look out for. Like, that's a big thing I would do with these cards if they get panic sold. That is something I would so look for. Like, you know, say PSG gets relegated and Kimpembe drops 50K in value overnight in, in two weeks. That's something, man, like I would go ham on because they're just going to get bought right back up because they do get upgrades. And people are going to be like, wow, like that's actually still happening. So that could be a really, really good way for a lot of you guys to make coins. And I'm, I'm really looking at that as like, I'm, I'm looking at that as like a really good way for you guys to make the big bank. I think that that's something that, um, I'm thinking that that's something that I'm really looking at as like, that could be a baller move. If him, like especially him and Davinson Sanchez, you know, Champions League obviously has one more match day left for the group stage to fill out. Um, I believe all the third place teams go down uh, to the Europa League. Um, so if, yo, if like him and Sanchez, like if you see like these two get sold 50K each, bro, and they're down in Europa League, man. Oh my God. I would like, guys, I would genuinely look at those two um, as like big boys if they drop. Now, so let, let, let's like just reiterate as we end the video, not buying these today. Obviously, right now, these cards are all at like all time highs. I would not buy these cards today. I would look at these cards in a week or so. You know, you've got the midway point between, you know, the next round of Champions League games and these round. That's what I would really look at. I would look at these cards in like that period of time. I think there's some money there though. I do. I think they're going to go higher. I know you guys are thinking I'm crazy or I'm on drugs or something for telling you guys that Fabinho at 450 is going to go higher. But like, dude, you have to assess these and look at the way they've been working so far and look at how high they are. Like it is crazy. So they're probably just going to keep going and keep building upon what they are right now. Um, I would be, I would be shocked if it was nothing short of that. Probably all got another 50K in these cards. So just kind of see if you could get that drop down before you buy in is what I would say. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys, man. Everybody, yo, tuning into the video today. Like, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for the support. We're going to have an epic market watch out for you guys this afternoon. Um, I wanted you guys to see this video because these are very important to me right now. I feel like these are good to talk about. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, how do you feel about these cards right now? I, I'm very, I don't know how to feel. They're very weird. I, I, I agree with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are like very like, wow, these are really high. I'm the same way. So don't feel alone. Um, thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Peace out.